This example is going to show you how to compute a percentile from a grouped frequency distribution. In particular, I'm interested in finding the 50th percentile, P50. The 50th percentile is also called the median. To make this computation, I'm going to use the equation that's found on page 3 of the supplemental information, and you can see the equation again here. To solve this equation, you basically need to find various terms. And I'm going to start with x of L, which is the value of the lower bound of the interval containing the percentile point. So to find x sub L, I need to find the interval containing the percentile point. And if I look at the cumulative percentage, I need to find the one that has uh, 50 in it, 50 percent in it. So I can see the second interval goes up to 30%, and the third interval goes up to 53%. So my 50th percentile is going to be in that interval, and I need the lower bound of that interval. And you can see it's 95.944. So X sub L is going to be 95.944. Next, I need to find F sub P, which is the frequency of scores below the percentile point. And you can compute this as simply as the sample size N times P divided by 100. And that's going to be 30 times P, which is 50, because I'm interested in the 50th percentile, divided by 100, which equals 15. Next, I need to find F sub L, which is the frequency of scores below X sub L. So to find F sub L, I need to go to the interval that contains my percentile point, which again, remember that was the third interval, and I need the frequency of scores below this interval. So that's going to be 9. So F sub L again is going to be 9. Next, I need to find F, which is the frequency of the interval containing the percentile point. Remember that my third interval is the one that contains the percentile point, and I need the frequency of that interval, and so you can see that frequency is 7. So F is going to be 7. Now, if you remember from the demonstration on how to create a group frequency distribution, I created this distribution using a interval width of 7. So h is going to equal 7. And now you have all the information you need to make this computation. So I'm just going to plug in the values. So x sub l is going to be 95.944 plus the interval width divided by the frequency. And that's going to be multiplied by F sub P minus F sub L, which is going to be 15 minus 9. And with that you get 95.944 plus 6. And the answer is 101.944. So the 50th percentile is 101.944. If you actually compare this answer to what you might get from R or Excel, you'd find that R will give you a median of 100.5. So it's a little bit different, and the reason for that is because of this interval width. I used a pretty wide interval width of 7. If you make that interval width smaller and use more intervals, you'll actually get a value that's much closer to what R produces. So I actually went through this example using 15 intervals, and what I got was 100.61. So when I used more intervals, I got a value that was actually much closer to what R has. So don't view this answer that you get here as being wrong, it's just simply affected by the width of the interval. 
So to go over really what's happening here, you've used a group frequency distribution where the intervals have a certain width. And in doing this computation, you found the interval, the lower bound of the interval that contains the point, but you don't really know where in that interval the point actually lies. So what this part you're adding to that lower bound of the interval, it's just an amount that tells you, okay, how far into the interval do you need to go to find the median value? And in this case, we found we had to go, you know, six points in to get to the median. And so that's it. That's how you compute a percentile from a grouped frequency distribution.